Here's what's coming up next on Comcast tonight. He's one of the young men behind the leading Harry Potter site in the world. You'll hear about MuggleNet.com when we continue. Also, kickboxing your way into shape in the new year. Keep it here. Comcast Tonight starts right now. Hi, and thanks for tuning in to Comcast tonight. I'm your host, Janelle Wolf, and we begin tonight with Harry Potter Mania. We're talking to one of the folks behind the leading Harry Potter site in the entire world. It's called MuggleNet.com, and joining me now is Eric Skull. He is a local guy, the web developer for that website, and I guess you got started back in 2002? Yes, November of 2002, actually. What so, was it about Harry Potter that kind of attracted you to the books, the movies, in the first place? Oh, well, um, you know, the books are just so... They're amazing. They're fascinating. You really, I mean, I, I would say, I would say you would have to read them to fully understand them. But uh, they're, they're just amazing. The characters are portrayed so uh, wholly and and beautifully that the story just sucks you in, and you're just, you're just, you you want to know what happens next. I guess I need to ask you what a Muggle is. In what the first a Muggle <laughs> is? Well, Muggles are the non-magic people uh, in in the world. See, in the Harry Potter series, there is a whole other world filled of uh, wizards and witches and who can do magic and cast spells and they live uh, kind of secretly alongside these muggles mm -hmm. and it's actually funny you ask me that question because that was my first experience with Harry Potter um, watching the first movie muggles are mentioned very early on and I turned to my friend's mom who had taken me to the movie and I said muggle and she said non-magic people <laughs> and I thought oh brother you know, but by the end of the movie, I, I mean, that's what got me into it, the movie. But it wasn't love at first sight for you. I mean, it took you kind of a while to, to exactly. get it. Exactly. Yeah? Yeah, well, um, the movie really, you know, watching the movie got me into it because I had previously, you know, thought, well, you know, the books are so big. I see these, you know, kids whopping out seventh grade with this, uh, you know, 700 page. Here it is right here. Book Just to show you an example, book I mean, this is, this is a long book here. Yeah, it's a long book. Speaking of, speaking of books, I do want to mention this other book that you brought along here. This is yes. a, a preview of the book here. What will happen in Harry Potter 7? My first question to you is, how do you know what's going to happen in the book? We don't. Okay. We, we don't presume to. It's, it's just a, uh, it's a speculation book that the website I work with put out. I didn't actually have too much to do directly with it, but a uh, few of my friends did. A few mm -hmm. of my close friends put that out. Um, and it's basically something to keep the fans riled up because uh, it can be pretty, pretty, um, they need something to do because it can be a couple of years be before, you know, between movie releases and book releases. J.K. Rowling, though, we're not complaining. She needs to take her time because these books are masterpieces and uh, we're, all, we're all waiting for her. What's uh, really exciting, I guess, for you is that MuggleNet has taken you really all over the country because of the book, because of the series. Tell me a little bit about your travels and, and kind of who you've met and where you've, where you've been, well, the celebrities and the, and the glamour. And MuggleNet is the leading Harry Potter site out there. Um, there's only a few that rival it, and it's, it's, it's truly, I mean, it's been recognized by J.K. Rowling. She has her own website, and she, I, we got the Fan Site Award. I got, uh, she saluted me. Actually, she wrote my name. You know, I yeah. salute you. It's was, wow. it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I've been to uh, England. I went on a six-day uh, tour. Uh, Beyond Boundaries Travel was a travel agency out, out west, and they do tours to England and Scotland, so I got to go on that because Emerson was had finals that, that week mm -hmm. or something. He and said, Emerson, yeah. the person behind the website. Emerson is, is, mm -hmm. the, is the, uh, the webmaster, yeah. And uh, I got to do that. Also, book releases. Um, I was in, I did one in Oak Park, Illinois, in Chicago for book five, and for book six I was in Hudson, Ohio. And it's just amazing, you know, I've traveled all these different places, seen these, these different towns that turn their, you know, their bookstores into Diagon Alley and, and, and turn, you know, these local groups that, that really make effort to make it, you know, magical for kids and adults and everybody just loves it. I want to ask you, too, uh, a big part of the website is the podcasts yes. that you're a huge part of. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, our podcast, MuggleCast, is um, it's on iTunes for anybody who knows anything about podcasting. But it's like a radio show. It's a literary discussion for the Harry Potter books. So each week we pick a topic, you know, character. Say uh, we just received the title of book seven. So that's... Big news. Big news. So we spent about an hour and a half discussing what that might mean and what implications that might have. So. We are uh, almost out of time in the last minute that we have here. I do want to ask you... 
anything for sure that you could tell us beyond speculation uh, that is going to happen in book seven? Any insider information you want to share I, at all? Either Harry or Voldemort will die. Really? Yeah. That's juicy. That's the exclusive, and you heard it here, folks, first. Thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck to you. I understand Thank you are off to Australia. Uh, New Zealand, New Zealand. actually. New Zealand, okay, yes. close. I'm uh, studying over there, so. Plans yes. to continue the Harry Potter stuff yes, while you're over absolutely. there? absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us, oh, and good luck to you. Thank you very much. Good to see you. And if you are interested in checking out MuggleNet.com or one of those podcasts, here's the website, MuggleNet.com. It's the ultimate Harry Potter site in the world. And there's still more to come here on Comcast tonight. As always, we welcome your comments, so call us 610-790-8869 or email us, storyideas at Comcast.net. We'll be right back with more after this.